hi folks um, this video here will show you how to use the emulator with your running application the emulator is a program we developed which would enable you to test your applications as if you were doing them in real time because I mean that is the most essential part of this you want to know if your application working and whether everything is okay so if you watch the last video your application should already be running as the mine is successfully running here and you'd want to go to the platform emulator folder of your Telius platform SDK folder the Telius platform SDK can be acquired from Telius website it's as simple as just googling Telius and it should be the first result and once you have that you go into platform emulator you'd want to run the emulator as administrator to bypass all of Windows 7 the Windows 7 problems click incoming and once you reach here once the emulator is successfully loaded see you want to have your incoming message log your outgoing message log and you'd want to simulate a text message which is most important you have a lot of options here source number carry code etc for source and destination but those things aren't important at all at this point the most important thing is application url right here and you can get that within your application this application url can be configured but by default it's this one so you copy it paste it into application url in the code jam um, thing in the emulator and then you type your message I'm going to put my first text message as a message and then click start and you see open down here I also click stop see closed so that, how, that is how you would know that your emulator has been successfully started. Now I'm going to set a breakpoint here so we can see what is going on. The messages should hit right here in the unmessage received method. So I click send, it hits there. I step through, I can see that my message has successfully been appended and then So the message should be sent now looking at the logs I can see in my outgoing message log that the emulator sent the message my first test message which was successfully received by the application and the application resent this message I appended resent to my message and then I resent it to the emulator which is successfully received so in that way you can use the emulator to test your application so make sure your the message you sent and received were proper that you did send you successfully sent and you successfully received a message and you can also verify that your mess your message processing went the way that you designed the application right so that's it for using the emulator i hope you enjoy it